Hello, uh, my name is Yoshio Miyake, uh, Scanix uh, Lead Air Researcher and Final Fantasy 50 Leads. Uh, today I will talk about the air system Final Fantasy 15 is about uh, one hour. I have been uh, developing the game AI for many titles, in, especially for toy play title, uh, from Han, Demon Souls, Amakura, and the Final Fantasy 14 and 15. And uh, recently, the AAA titles AI system is a very big system, so the AI team's number is increasing. For example, for Final Fantasy XV's members, about 13 uh, guys, uh, especially focus on AI, uh, increase the uh, international teams uh, mm -hmm. from the Americas, uh, Europeans, and Asians. Today's content is like this. So I will talk about uh, many, many AI techniques for uh, using Final Fantasy AI. At first, I will talk about what is AI in digital games. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is a sound ups. Uh, the Final Fantasy XIV AI. This is a player. This is a monster. This monster has a brain to sense the world. Uh, make a decision and uh, move the uh, moves the bodies by itself. This red line is, is a, a path found by uh, AI itself. And another demo is, is uh, fight fightings uh, in Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, this is AI's. Uh, this is navigation mesh to find a path by AI's. AI's can find a path to the players. So he, he can approach to the players. And suddenly he this drops from the cliffs, but he can find the new path to the players by itself, by its brains. Uh, that is a function of artificial intelligence. Okay. Uh, next is Final Fantasy XV. Final Fantasy XV is a very uh, reality-based fantasy and action RPGs. Uh, many characters moves around uh, in the wise fields and uh, in the complex natures and uh, opposite to the monsters. I will show the demo of, of the Final Fantasy XV. This is Nocto is uh, Prayers. Uh, this is a single game. Uh, please uh, sound up. Uh, okay. And uh, this all characters including the bodies and the enemies uh, AIs. That is autonomous AIs. Uh, uh, they can sense the world, make additions, and move the bodies by itself, by themselves. Uh, this is AI graphs uh, that is to make the AIs by game designers. I will explain the precise detailed data. Okay, uh, next. Uh, our, in this lecture, uh, there's three goals, uh, making the autonomous NPC in the Final Fantasy world. Uh, makes the one united living world of Final Fantasy XV, and making the unique user experience of Final Fantasy XV. Okay, at first, uh, game AI overview. Uh, this is a general AI system for modern AAA system. There are three types of AIs, such as meta AIs, character AIs, and navigation AI. This is a Character AI is the brains of the characters of enemies and bodies. And navigation AI is, is uh, especially for finding the path and finding the position to stand. That is, the role is analyzing the terrain and the environments in real time. And meta AI is a very special AI. This is got AIs. Meta AIs observe the whole game situation. And to and to just change the world to make the, the game exciting for game users, I will explain the example. By using three AIs, uh, the objective is to make the unique user experience by using meta AI characters and navigation AI. At first, I will explain meta AI. Meta AI is sometimes called AI directors, adjusting the game world to the players. For example, uh, when, uh, <coughs> uh, 
When a prayer is in crisis,、uh, the bodies must protect、uh, the prayers against the enemies. But sometimes、uh, he cannot notice the prayer's crisis, but it's a very bad situation. But the meta AI can give orders、uh, the bodies in any time.、Uh, for example, in this time, so. That's, that is without meta AI, the three bodies rush into the prayers and make a heal in the same time. That is a very stupid situation, very bad situation.、Uh, but uh, they, are, they all are autonomous AI.、Uh, they judge he should go to the prayers to save, save prayers. But, that, but the, the, there's no communication with others. That situation should be prohibited by Meta AI. Meta AI controls that situation. For example, in that situation, only one guy rush in,、uh, go to the nocturne to save the players. And the two remain players、uh, keep fighting with the enemies. That is the collaboration of body play, body's characters、uh, by Meta AI control. That is the role of Meta AI. So, Meta AI controls the game situation dynamically to give the orders to the all game player, game,、uh, pr- game characters. Next is character AI, that is the brain of uh, ca- <coughs> uh, the characters. <coughs> Charact- but characters AI is a little bit complex because character has the intelligence and bodies. Intelligent and bodies,、uh, anyone d o n t know the, the, how to bind the body and the souls. So, that is a very philosophical difficult problem. So, how to unite the AI and animations? So, that is a problem of this. In Final Fantasy, for the characters, t h a t has three layers intelligence layer, the body layers, animation layers. They are communicate with the blackboard and、uh, sending the sendings and receive the message.、Uh, for example,、uh, characters has many, has many interaction with the environment、uh, in real time. So, intelligence must control the bodies, but、uh, sometimes bodies cannot accept the order from the intelligence. It, they should be.、Uh, Collaborating relations e a c h other. But the role of each layer is different. AI graphs must uh, uh, make the decisions.、Uh, body graphs、uh, must control the body's, body's status. And the animation graphs must decide the animation to be executed. So, at first, animation system is like this. So, each node is,、uh, is uh, animation data is captured by motion capture schedule. So, animators、uh, oh, collect this all animation data like this. For example, this arrow it means the transition between the two motions. I will show the, uh, one, uh, some examples of the animators' work. At first, animators set a start node and、uh, put the animation motion nodes and、uh, setting the transition phase.、Uh, this is、uh, uh, mixing parameters、uh, between the two motions. And finally, is,、uh, the system、uh, is, is set up for one character、uh, using the many, many、uh, motion nodes. And the settings, by setting the parameters and many, many、uh, systems, many, many parameters, many, many arrows, and many diagrams、uh, is, are set on animation graph. This is uh, uh, Square Enix、uh, original tools,、uh, this is animation tools. But is, this is an animation tool、uh, without i n c h a n g e s So, next,、uh, but uh, in that system, uh, uh, Can、uh, like, like this. So, this animation nodes、uh, executed by responding to the distance and uh, uh, relation with between two characters, like this. So, but it's a very, very simple animation. 
Next is body layers. Uh, body layer is described by the state machines. Each state is, means a uh, 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 rough status of character, whether waiting, state, short, and aiming. So these layers, layers control the character's body state. For example, when a character is climbing ladder, they can, uh, he, cannot, uh, he cannot swing the sword. Uh, the status uh, is controlled by uh, these <coughs> uh, graphs, like this. So, uh, this is a very simple uh, character uh, control status, character status control system. Uh, they only the runnings or speaking and the approaching so, or shuttings. Uh, this is a all very simple system of character system. Finally, uh, the decision making system here. Uh, this is very complex system. Uh, because uh, each system must uh, dis uh, make the decision in any times in, in real time uh, and de responding to the uh, change of the game world. So that is an uh, AI system that is very uh, complex graphs I will experience from now. Uh, the basis of character AI is like this, very simple. Uh, character, at first, character has bodies. And uh, input uh, senses, uh, senses, uh, senses, uh, environment uh, in real time as input information. And uh, in, in intelligence make addition, and finally outputs uh, make the output as a character's actions. Uh, that is a very simple system. That is the basis. This system is called in uh, robotics, uh, agent architectures. That is, at first, the intelligent world, environment world is separately defined. And the two world is uh, connected by sensors and effectors. Sensors role is gathering the information from the environment world. And effectors role is uh, giving the effect to the world by motions and bodies. And this is a module in the intelligent world. At first, uh, this is a recognition. That is a recognized uh, environment. And decision-making module is to the role is to make a decision. And the motion-making module is to the making the motions uh, for the, of the characters and the memories. There, there is five, mo six modules. At our sensors, effects, and recognize. Uh, decision and the motion and the memories. To make the uh, uh, make characters AI means uh, making the six module of this. And the information flow around the module and the game world. For example, the sensors gather the information from the world and uh, interrupt it by recognition module and uh, by use, used by decision makings and uh, Information by is used by the motion making module and finally makes a motion from the information. And it affects the world and produces new information. So inform this, call, this flow is called information flow uh, via world, game world, and uh, uh, characters uh, in the world. So that is the base of it. At first, uh, uh, the <coughs> process of Character AI's first step is making a recognition module. For example, this is a Gaura. This is a Gaura is the name of the monsters. This field is, is a field of views. So that is uh, that region when the uh, enemies uh, enters this this field, this character notice uh, the enemies. But uh, more exactly, the ray the ray cast, uh, they will be casted to the objectives, uh, which uh, ray, uh, ray, uh, which ray can pass to the object without a co without a collision of other uh, other objectives. So that is a field of view of these monsters. That is a recognition of the monsters. 
By using these regions, these monsters can gather many information of, of the world. And next is decision making. This is the core of most character AIs. But the decision making model uh, in games has seven models rule based, state based, behavior based, goal based, task based, history based, simulation based. In small game, only one algorithm is used for a small game. Uh, but for large games, uh, two or three uh, types of this decision making model is used. Uh, combining uh, com combinings of two or three modules. At first, rule be based is very simple. Uh, for example, this behemoth is uh, controlled by rule, uh, the decision making model is rule based. At first, uh, many rules uh, prepares are like this. All lists uh, is me meaning the rule. Of, of the like this. And this orange lit uh, line is a uh, uh, fire rule. For example, the when players uh, right side to the behemoth, uh, this line is uh, orange lit and uh, swings the right, uh, right arms to, to the players. So selecting one rule, uh, these characters can move, uh, can select the right action to the, uh, to the players. This is very classical uh, decision making system from 18. Next is uh, behavior based. Behavior based is most popular algorithm in recent AAA titles of game AI. Uh, this is a behavior trees. Very simple system. At first, rule. Uh, this uh, blue, blue seat is called a uh, layer. And uh, each layer selects the one node uh, by, uh, by executing a selection rule. For example, selection rule priorities means uh, the layers uh, pick up the one node with most with priority. For example, uh, w there's no enemies. This node cannot be executed, so this node is selected. But but uh, the, when there there is one uh, there's enemies, uh, this nodes uh, can be executed, so this node is selected. And next seat is next layer. The selection is the sequence. Sequence means. Uh, uh, it, uh, it will execute all nodes in order to the top, to the bottom. So uh, one node is executed, attack. And next is the sequence. So like this, so arrow and magic soul and, uh, are all executed in all these orders. And this magic is the next sheet, this is random uh, rule. So by uh, random numbers. One of them, uh, one of them is selected to be executed. So uh, this, this behavior trees. This is called behavior trees. So Squarenix uh, has developed the original behavior trees to uh, for decision making system of characters like this. Uh, the game, can, game designers uh, can design behavior trees by only by using the mouse without uh, programming. Uh, next is state-based AI. State-based AI is uh, very popular in 19s. That is very simple system. State includes uh, uh, each play character's actions, and this arrows makes the transition between the two states. For example, uh, this is a typical uh, state machines. For example, one, this green is a big state. And uh, chase and watch and uh, just transition is found enemy or lost enemies. And uh, pink node uh, is a small state machines. It's included in big one node in green level. So this is called hierarchical state machine uh, is uh, including the two state machines uh, in, in two layers. 
And Scanix develops the original tools for making state machines. It also be used by game designers to design the state machines uh, by only by using the mouse actions and setting the parameters. And but state machines uh, is is good at to for steady control step by step. And behavior tree is good at to adapt behavior to make the uh, the behaviors, sequence of behaviors uh, fluently. We want to use both good points, so we combine two algorithms to one system. This is called a hybrid node system. For example, one node, one upper layer is state machine, and one of this node is behavior trees. Oh, that is one example. The top layer is state machine. The one state includes the one behavior trees. And one node in behavior tree includes the state machine. That is a, a multi-layer system and a hierarchical multi-layer system architectures. Uh, this is uh, AI original AI system of Square Enix. And by using system, uh, we made some all characters brain. Uh, decision making system. For example, this is Nifu Soldiers. Nifu Soldiers, the first layer is a state machine. Uh, this is, for example, uh, fighting, the waiting, things like this. And this is a battle node. It includes uh, one behavior, ray, behavior trees. This, is, this orange layer is behavior trees. And, but one of the node of behavior tree includes a small, small state machine. So this character's uh, decision-making system is three layers, state machine, behavior tree, and state machines. Uh, at the top layer is state machine. Next is the behavior tree. And the final layer is state machine. <coughs> uh, I will show the, some, in the, some demo uh, of this. This character is, uh, is controlled by this behavior tree. It's difficult to see, but the top layer is state machine. It's one of the node of uh, with top layer state machine. It includes uh, behavior trees. This green lit node is uh, uh, active node, is which now e executed by these characters. So this, no this graph is designed by game designers, not by engineers because uh, each character's uh, brain's making is a task for game designers, not, not by uh, engineers. So all characters' brain is designed on, on this tool by game designers. OK, next is the memories uh, of game characters. This is uh, inside of uh, AI graphs. Uh, I, I explained the st binding the state machine and, and Behavior trees. This is a memory regions uh, to be used by characters. All memories censored by uh, censored by sensor systems are stored in these regions, and this information used by the node uh, and the arrows uh, inside of the state machine or behavior trees. And all no all information all <coughs> stored informations can be used by more deeper and deeper deeper regions uh, of the state machine as behavior trees. Uh, the memories translate, um, uh, delivered uh, by uh, these arrows to the more small scale of uh, AI graphs. And next is uh, the, the a special mode of thinking. Uh, any living things uh, think don't think only one thing. For example, when you are eating the meals, you are thinking about another things. It's the same for the game characters. For example, uh, when the character is running, uh, characters should think another problem uh, about this. It can be possible uh, by parallel node. This is a this is a uh, behavior trees. By using, when the parallel node used, under the two nodes uh, executes on parallel. 
For example, this is a shooting. I'm sorry, this is Japanese. So shooting and approaching uh, is uh, are executed at the same time on, by parallel node. I will uh, show the some example. Uh, this is a brain decision making system of this green lit characters. When he is shooting and uh, wow. approaching and uh, and and moving and uh, shooting, this is the whole node is uh, executed at the same time by using parallel node. That is a, li a little bit. Uh, uh, very small techniques, but, but, but very, that is very useful techniques for in-game characters. But the problem is a is, uh, task of to make the AI graph. AI graph is a very large graph. Uh, it costs so much time and so much money. <laughs> so, so much time is by many, many game designers. So, uh, the AI graphs, once a, one AI uh, game designer once describes, should be uh, used for the next uh, monsters making. So that is an uh, override system. For example, uh, all character has a common logic. That is, uh, that is used by the all uh, NPCs' brains. So, but the, for example, one fighting nose uh, overrides is a new AI graph. That is a, a behemoth proper logic. For example, this, this is another monster. This is called Katoklepas monsters. This is a common logic for, for between the another uh, monsters. But the whole fighting nose is uh, another type of AI graphs replaced by overriding uh, by these graphs. And by using override systems, uh, game designers can make the AI graph uh, very rapidly uh, by using used uh, AI graphs again and again. Now, that is uh, effective uh, tools uh, of uh, make the game, make decision module. So this is a common logic. This system is overrides, but, but this, by this AI graph. And one of this node is also override by new logics. So as like this, uh, uh, many monsters has common and different logics uh, at the same time. OK, I explained the meta AI, the character AI. Finally, I explained the navigation AI. Navigation AI is uh, like the car navigation. Uh, find the path to the goal or find the best point to start. At first, I will explain the pathfinding system. Pathfinding approach is uh, as a A star algorithm. A star algorithm is used uh, by the most uh, AAA title games, about 19%. So this is algorithm the, to the find a path to the start point to the, uh, to the goal on the complex terrains. So, but the A star algorithm need, requires, uh, uh, need is uh, 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 network graph network graphs of the trains, it, it is a representation of train uh, in games. So this is a uh, triangle means a navigation mesh. Navigation mesh means uh, regions uh, which where uh, the player, uh, the NPC characters can move. So on this navigation mesh, by using a star algorithms a character can find a path from the start point to the goal. But the most difficult task is making the navigation mesh. For example, for triple A games, recent topic is the scale is uh, 10 kilometer or 10 kilometer or five, ki five kilometer by five kilometers. <laughs> this is a very, very large. So navigation mesh can be produced by the uh, automatic system. So by using collision models, 
uh, the AI system can make the navigation mess in night, in night, in night uh, without the human's operations. And finally, the, 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 this triangle is uh, navigation mess uh, made automatically made the uh, uh, AI system. So by using ASTA algorithms navigation mesh, um, char all characters can move uh, to the any point to any point. Uh, this is an NPC. Uh, this is a, a special uh, bridge uh, uh, between the two meshes. Uh, this is uh, the complex dungeon in Final Fantasy XV, uh, but any characters can find the path to the goal. Uh, uh, <coughs> to achieve the, his role. This is difficult to see, but uh, you can see that uh, this is the navigation mess and the, uh, the path of found it by the ASTA algorithm. By using past systems, uh, body characters fight to the enemies and uh, can rescue to the players. And next is the point query system. Pathfinding system can find a path uh, uh, to the goal point. But the problem is how to find the goal point for characters. Uh, the recently, the game industry, uh, game AI techniques uh, develops uh, to find the goal point in dy dynamically. That is called tactical point system, or sometimes called a uh, environment query system. Uh, sometimes uh, in Square Enix, that is called point query system. Point query system means a system to find the best position for a character ability in the train in real time. Uh, that is a very simple algorithm to find a goal. Point query system has a three uh, process. One at first is the point distribution process. And next is the filtering process. And finally, the third is evaluation process. Point distribution system, this is a point around the objective. And the filtering process means removing points, not adjust for purpose uh, of the characters. And the evaluation process evaluates the remaining point to find the one point so finally. Uh, I'm sorry, so, so this is the characters, and this is the body's characters, it's the enemy characters. This is the higher place, this is the host. Uh, from now, so I will explain the point query system uh, of the characters. At first, the distribution process. Uh, distribution system distributes the points uh, around the uh, AI characters. So this is the recommended point to go for these characters. But there's many, many useless points. So filtering process removes the all useless points uh, by condition. For example, this point in the sea, so this is very useless. So this point is around the rock hole. This is very dangerous. So these two, seven points are removed. And next is uh, this enemies. This is very dangerous zone, so whole point are removed. And finally, uh, the, the, this point is uh, too close uh, from the current position. This portion are removed. And seven, uh, eight, 10 points remain here, but uh, these characters uh, to find uh, this is uh, arches. So they want to make the position in higher position, so this, this uh, points in the field removes. And finally, the four point remains, but this point is the highest point in this range, so they can, he can find the best position uh, to throw the arrow to the enemies. Uh, this is uh, 
a dynamic system to find the best point for the characters. So the characters move to, this AI characters move to here to throw the arrow to the players. So this is a point query system, very, very useful. So this is a very uh, popular system, uh, recent in AAA titles. Many titles use uh, this system by different name. So, but the uh, important point, uh, 10 years ago, this system is used by only by the engineers, uh, but it's very, very mathematical system, so difficult to use. But recently, uh, this system is uh, used from the tools. For example, this is a Square Enix uh, PQS system tools. Game designers uh, or planners uh, can, by using these tools, can set the uh, distribution process parameters and the filtering condition and the estimation, uh, estimation process uh, by equations. So settings uh, by these uh, tools, uh, uh, game designer can use a PQS system in any time. Uh, this is a demo of a PQS system. So this is a Nocto, this is a Monsters. Uh, this red point is a very dangerous point that the players can see and by body and the players. But uh, this green point is very safe because uh, the, this point cannot see from the players. So by using this, is, uh, monsters can move around uh, very intelligently. Uh, for example, uh, this is a PQS system. All regions near the Nocto, the players, is, uh, filters out. And the main point uh, are estimated uh, by equation. Red point is very dangerous point, but the green is very uh, safety point. The, this monster uh, moves to red point to, to the green point. Uh, uh, escape, that, that's, that's, imp, that's impression is escaping uh, from the player's view. So PQS can, by setting the PQS system, uh, game designer can easily make the intelligent behaviors in games, in, even in a complex environment. So, uh, character, this PQS query is made by game designers. Character makes a PQS query, the PQS system returns the best positions. It, the all settings by on the tools are set by game designers. So, PQS system is uh, used in any, many, many situations. For example, find an attack position of monsters, or the attack position of bodies, or a position in the conversation of bodies, or a spawning point of crowds. There's many uses of PQS. Uh, this is the statics of PQS queries. Uh, in Final Fantasy XV, uh, 600, 600 types of PQS queries uh, were made by game designers. Uh, this is the statics uh, of PQS system. This is the most popular uh, PQS system. Uh, uh, over the 1,500 times uh, calls uh, from the game system. And, but this, is, this PQS query is not popular. So, over the one or two times uh, called uh, from the game system. Uh, by gathering the information uh, of query systems, uh, game designers can recognize uh, what, which query is popular, which query is not popular uh, by analyzing the big data. Okay, uh, this is the application of PQS system. In game, in Final Fantasy, in Final Fantasy XV, sometimes uh, bodies characters uh, will uh, talk about the players uh, in the fields. But the problem is uh, which point, uh, which point the character should stand uh, in the complex terrains. So at first, meta AIs uh, 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 throw the request to find the best point to stand to navigation system. 
ナビゲーションシステム uses the PQA system to find the best position to stand. And, and next is Meta AI's is,、uh, uh, to the orders、uh, to the character AI to have a good conversation with the players. Okay, I will show the demo. Okay, it, it, it finds、uh, at first PQA system to the standpoint besides the knock of the players. And navigation systems、uh, will find the best path to the knock、uh, to the Uh, goal points. And finally, the character AI have,、uh, gives the behaviors uh, to the uh, characters uh, to, to have a good conversation with the, with the players.、Uh, this is a combination of meta AIs, character AIs, and、uh, navigation AIs. So, by combining three AI systems,、uh, the, the intelligent behavior can be made easily by, like this. Uh, next is the steering system.、Uh, steering system is an、uh, avoiding system between the characters. For example, many characters rush into the same point. It should, they should be about each other. But this algorithm is there,、uh, developed by robotics. We use the human like avoidance, so each character、uh, can avoid each other like this. So each character predicts.、Uh, Uh, opposite size characters' behaviors so they can find the safety path、uh, each other's. That is the auto avoidance system in movement. And next is the motion analysis. That is, is uh, very uh, precise uh, character behaviors. For example, uh, uh, in all Final Fantasy systems, very simple. So, for example, when uh, uh, characters uh, Come near uh, uh, in the three meters uh, to, the, to the monsters, monsters、uh, attack to the uh, uh, players. Monsters can hit the point, hit the characters by arms or, or tails. But the, now the character model is, is very complex. In simple, by using simple system, at first, the many attack is. Uh, can, many attack cannot hit the players. So、uh, we analyze、uh, the character motion.、Uh, this is a training mode of Behemoth.、Uh, Behemoth comes here, he、uh, tests many motions. This orange red lit region、uh, is a region hit by his, red, his right arm actions. And others,、uh, this is、uh, next, this is uh, uh, bones, actions, like these regions、uh, can be hit by his,、uh, his bone. And this is Gaura. So Gaura is、uh, the running attack, is,、uh, this red point is hit by his attack motions. By running, by running、uh, this motion, each region for each attack motion,、uh, they can, it, all monsters can recognize、uh, the regions、uh, where each、uh, hitting the motion will,、uh, will hit. So, by using these uh, runnings, uh, uh, they can. All monsters can select the best action、uh, to his、uh, player's uh, actions.、Uh, this is a demo of this. Is. Behemoth,、uh, this is learning system. Uh, no, no. Uh, this Behemoth learns、uh, where, where the, each motion can hit. So that is、uh, implemented in, as a rule system. So, When, the, when the, this player is、uh, right armed regions, he, he selects the、uh, uh, right arms attacking like this. So, by using the、uh, motion analyzing system, he can select the best action dynamically. Like this. So, attention point is a swing around, so,、uh, moving around、uh, all characters.、Like、this. 
Finally, is ambient AI. Ambient AI is a non-player character in the towns. There's many characters. In Final Fantasy XV, there's many cities and many villages. And in villages, many, many chocobo peoples as a crowd. But each ambient AI has not the high uh, intelligence, as I explained in character AIs. They have no intelligence. Uh, this is a <laughs> uh, special system of ambient system. Uh, it's called a smart object. Uh, this object has intelligence to control the characters. For example, this ref refrigerator has animation and the AI state machine sound, etc., to control the characters. For example, to open the door and to, to pick up the food, or all information uh, stored in the frigates. And uh, it's the same. This is uh, this desk has the uh, intelligence. So this desk gathers uh, many characters and locates the character on the desk and and gives their behaviors to pretend talking with each other. So this desk has uh, many information to control the character. For example, uh, each desk has two chairs. And uh, this desk gathers the crowds uh, in these places to go about things. So pick up the white characters and next characters and give your behaviors. The begins the behaviors. He pretends they're talking about <laughs> each other like the villagers. But they have no intelligence. So, and this uh, chairs uh, schedules uh, conversations behaviors, and uh, uh, in 20 seconds, uh, desk uh, pick up the third persons, and to the give the behavior to talk about, and like this, so they pretend talking uh, as a villagers, uh, as a companions. So uh, that is uh, using a strip system that is a symbolic language to design problems. So that's the planning. Uh, each uh, object that makes the plan of behaviors uh, to make the crowd behaviors like this. I'm sorry. Uh, this is a planning system to uh, uh, each behavior has uh, preconditions, action, and effect. By chaining the precondition and effects, the, the planning system uh, combines the many actions as a one planning. So uh, I'm sorry, I pick up, <laughs> I uh, transfer. Uh, I'm sorry. So okay, that is the result of uh, plan system. Uh, that this is a nocto and bodies that enter the new village, and. Uh, Smart object system begins the control of the all characters. Or like this is uh, eating sometimes. This is uh, uh, talking with each other and buying something. That is a crowd AI, so controlled by object or locations. So by using this ambient system, uh, uh, AI system can control the many, many crowds uh, in the very right uh, roads and light memories and uh, very small CPU powers. That's very effective uh, algorithm to control AI. And finally, uh, I will estimate data logging and visualizations. Uh, uh, the recent AAA title, very huge systems. Uh, mm, many game developers cannot see the uh, status of game system, so many logging data is stored in servers. By analyzing these big data, uh, uh, we, can, we can see the status of the game system. For example, uh, this is, uh, uh, as explained, uh, uh, statics of PQS queries. And the scenario, this is the statics of uh, scenarios of number of core uh, called by the meta AIs. For example, this scenario called by seven times uh, by meta AIs. Uh, this is a heat map uh, of animations. In each re in this region, special animation is called many times, like this. So, okay. Uh, summary uh, is uh, I'm sorry. Uh, 
I, I, I explain the, uh, the character AI, the meta AI, Navision AI, especially for uh, character AI, I explain the original uh, graph based AI logic tool developed by uh, Square Enix. Uh, this is a very special. And this is a list of uh, techniques, uh, AI techniques used in, a square, uh, in Final Fantasy Fisting. Each technique is very simple, but by combining many simple AI techniques, uh, can produce more, many complex uh, AI behaviors in complex AI trains. And memory usage is very, uh, <laughs> uh, very strict, but uh, AI graph uh, use uh, 20 megabytes, or NavMesh system 20 megabytes, is, 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 is very compact system. Uh, uh, as a AI system. And finally, I, I will show the result of the O2. Uh, each AI uh, can move autonomously by AI graph. So, so understanding is uh, the three years crisis, each character have auto autonomously. And they can uh, moves in, in the train to the goal by pacifying your system uh, in, in a large map. And the conversation system gives the natural conversation ah, in each different area. situation. And uh, they can uh, position by PQS system in front of players. And the meta AI helps the players' uh, behaviors, behavior crisis. So this is attention point. So the attention point is here. So they attack to the, uh, the target. Uh, he noticed. This is a navigation system. This character uh, introduced uh, players to, to the goal. Or uh, in the contrary, uh, this monster follows the players. And this is a PQS system. He can find the best point to stand for conversation and talk each other uh, in, in front of, uh, in beside of players. Uh, this is an override system. Many different uh, character has a different behavior trees by overriding system. And the AI supports the player's uh, behaviors. So uh, by understanding player's uh, will, so many char uh, body characters uh, protect and uh, predict uh, and uh, uh, probably cooperate uh, with the players. And the behemoth uh, knows his behaviors, uh, lesions, uh, by running uh, attacking system. Uh, or I will explain the very initial type. If you want to know precise, uh, this book uh, has uh, many. Uh, uh, Final Fantasy AI system is article uh, in, in this book, uh, but without <laughs> movies. Uh, okay, thank you. Well, we can take a few quick questions if uh, anyone's got some. Uh, just one quick question. Uh, yeah. So one problem that we have currently in our game, and we use a uh, similar nav mesh system, is that our attacks have knockback. Yeah. So when we hit an enemy, we knock them back, and when they land close to a chair or a rock where there is no nav mesh around yeah. that, they don't know what to do. They um, don't know how to get back onto the nav mesh. Have you had similar problems, and did you solve them? Yes, so uh, navigation mesh is uh, used for uh, the global navigation. So as you say, this is very narrow action is difficult. So, but is a, there's another system. So when attacking to the opposite, we checking the uh, space uh, where uh, the attacking motion can be executed or not. So very, uh, very uh, uh, the fast uh, recognition of the environment only for only only for the near side of the characters. At first, this uh, system, and next is uh, the navigation system, uh, will be executed. OK, 
Okay, let's thank the speaker one more time for the lovely talk. Thank you.